the uh, Bluetooth interface and it gets plugged in right there under the under the dash just like just like that you don't even notice it okay guys um, all I do is turn on my talk and I get my displays it should automatically hook into my and uh, here you will see my displays are running coolant is I've just started it so coolant 74 intake is coming in at uh, 34 kPa the MEF is running at 3.9 grams per second. There's no speed because I'm not moving. Throttle's at 2.7%. Uh, That's just idle. Uh, the fuel trim bank 1 is 0 0.8. And fuel trim bank 2 is 1.6. Intake temperature is 40. 17.6% load, the revs are 694, it tells me everything and currently my O2 sensors, you can see them popping around and these are the front O2 sensors and every time you'll see a little green light flick on, see it? Every time that green light flicks on, it's busy renewing the data that it's getting. So my O2 sensors, they normally sit around 0.45. It's just when the data comes in and doesn't come in. Uh, one's running at 0.4 and the other one's running at 0.6. Um, it's quite a fun program though. You can follow everything. Uh, shows me all of my status and it shows me I'm currently running in closed loop using my O2 sensors for fuel mix. And I can add more parameters if I want. Um, I can add add display and I can add a dial and it shows me all of the stuff that I can add engine coolant, fuel trim bank 1, fuel trim bank 2 whoops so lots of stuff you can add and play with and I use this for following how my sensors are doing um, you can see that my Oxygen sensors actually need to be replaced because I'm skipping all over the damn place at the moment. Normally should sit a lot closer to 0.45. And I have two new ones ready to go in the box. I've just not used them, put them in yet. And uh, here are the two new sensors waiting to go in. Um, Bosch 15733 and it's the, the kit. They come with all of the stuff you need to put them all together and to make watertight connections. So all I need is time to do it. <laughs> 